Greetings and welcome, everyone. One of the artists who worked on the My Little Pony and New Generation film has recently revealed some concept art for a cancelled G4 movie. Now, we all remember the 2017 My Little Pony film, which did end up making a lot more money than what it cost to produce. But since it wasn't pulling in the numbers which Hasbro had been expecting, I imagine that nixed any potential sequel being released in theaters. But there are a few intriguing details here which I wanted to discuss. For starters, this cityscape looks amazing. Putting aside how many intricate details have been put into these grand buildings, the background itself suggests that this was meant to be some sort of underground civilization. You can see the buildings here being put on higher and higher levels against walls which look like they're covered in shimmering gems, as well as a glorious blue light coming from behind through a huge cave system. And if you take a look in the foreground here, we can see what appears to be Spike alongside a new creature which we hadn't yet seen in the G4 canon. This image alone makes me really want to see what the MLP staff had in mind for the film. And then we see what at first glance appears to be a more expansive design of Rainbow Falls. And perhaps even a different design for Canterlot? Either that or an entirely new city which was also built on the side of a mountain with train tracks leading up to it. Here we have a campfire scene with the main six alongside some other pony playing the guitar. And a little purple dragon doing all the work putting up the tents. The more things change, the more they stay the same, I suppose. Although speaking of dragons, this particular image shows the main six in quite the predicament. A ginormous dragon with a huge set of horns and teeth sporting an intimidating red glow in his eye. In the midst of a rainstorm and a single ray of light shining on the ponies. You have to wonder if this might have been the intended villain of the story? Imagine the possibilities. And then there's a massive forest landscape showing just how tiny our protagonists seem in comparison. Finally, we have a very sad-looking Twilight sitting at the cutie map table and Spike bringing in a lovely-looking art piece of the main six. Likely at a point in the movie when everything seems to have gone wrong and the main character needs a reminder of what she's been working towards. All in all, an intriguing look into what might have been for a My Little Pony sequel film. And yes, while I would have liked to see what the final product might have turned out to be, I can still be happy with these little what-ifs. What do each of you think, though? If you've seen these concept images floating around, what sort of story ideas come to mind for both the main six as well as Spike? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.